Prada Haylock is five days old, and while she may look like your typical newborn, her birth was anything but typical. That's because she was born on a sidewalk. Prada's birth was announced on Saturday when news of a baby delivered by GSU started to make the social media rounds. But it got even more buzz on Monday when the commissioner congratulated a W and a GSU corporal, who he misidentified, on a job well done. I also want to take the opportunity to, to commend um, Corporal Robert Sutherland and uh, WPC Abdullah. Robert Sutherland is from the Gang Suppression Unit. WPC Abdullah is from Precinct 2 area. And these two brave officers were on duty at Mahogany Street Police Station. So I said to someone, you know, you have midwives, right? I said, well, in this case, Robert Sutherland is a mid-husband. And while we got the recap from the correct officers on Tuesday, this morning, we got to hear from the baby's father, Elvis Haylock, who told us exactly how the post-curfew emergency unfolded. I didn't sleep and she wake me. But at the time she wake me, her um, water bag already break. So she did tell me, babes, a time for we reach. Knowing the distance and knowing at the back of my mind the curfew, I said, this place we should go to the police station. Kind of want to meet you out there and still harass me. You know, so we went there. Upon, before we reached there, right front of the Chifty, side of the Chifty, Salvation Army behind, um, that like, to be specific, that Oleander Street. Right there, the baby man, the mark still there, the baby man. Haylock tells us that Prada's birth, like that of her siblings, happened on the move. While she was born on the sidewalk, one older sibling was born in flight on a plane from San Pedro, and the other on the steps of their house. So it's not this father's first bumpy birth, but he's grateful. You know, and yes, I want to give thanks to the corporal and the double me there because really they are the only two women to try help, you know, because they help by calling the ambulance and call the other truck, I don't know, the double went and the paramedics they arrived at the scene. The double was asked to hold the baby at the um, waist at the mother so they can cut the umbilical car. Afterwards, later on, like say, was it 10, 10 to 15 minutes after the ambulance arrived and the next police truck arrived and then I saw them try get the afterbirth out of she because she made the experience pain, you know? That's all that happened. Ultimately, mother and baby came through okay. And despite the hype, the family says the officers did what they're there to do, protect and serve. Come on, man. Let us be fair, man. We are going to laugh. We are going to laugh, right? We should make things go good. So come on, man. No, that does, it doesn't say that, hey, the young lady reach when the baby done, man. You know? And the only upside to the sidewalk delivery, less exposure in a COVID-heavy hospital. Well, I'm very, very, very happy knowing the fact that she was born outside and this virus is going around. She only spent, um, like, what, two days in the hospital just to check up. No medical attention neither. I am so very, very proud. Sharice Halsell, 7 News.